Hey, welcome to the show, everybody. John Bergsman here from Fisherman's Digest, out with Brad Dupuis and uh, the Angler Quest 24 Pro Troll. We're hooked up with our first fish. We're hoping it's a walleye. Brad and I probably don't want to take wagers on this one because I've got the rod in my hand, so it's a walleye. And Brad said the board went back too fast. But hey, stay tuned for today's show. We're here on Saginaw Bay out of Linwood Beach Marine. We're gonna try to put a bunch of walleyes in the boat, try to teach you just a little bit about spoon fishing. We've got a whole spread of Dreamweaver mini spoons on. We're gonna catch fish. Brad's been whacking them for the last week. Stay tuned. Pretty steady now, though, John. I know. I think it's just a big fish. Well, that's cool. Yeah. We had one last night. The board just went ripping back. It was probably a 15-pound catfish. Yeah. This is definitely not a cat because it would be a lot more stopping me. I'm gonna clear that so I know where to go. Is that a white bass? Is it? Is it? Or no, it is a white bass. You're right. Yeah, there is another one. Well, that'll keep you busy. Right there, it's a little white bass. This is what, uh, to be honest, is probably the primary forage for a lot of these fish now in Saginaw Bay. Uh, baby white bass, even even big white bass. You know that. Big eight and 10 pound walleyes will eat that, no problem. So, but we're gonna release them. You guys are going to get a first-hand uh, look at the beauty of autopilot on a boat. You know, on these Angler Quest 24s, one of the best add-on features you can add on is a is a good autopilot unit. I'll tell you what, Brad's been on them all week, and this is the type of walleye that Saginaw. Oh, that's a really nice one. We'll show you that Dreamweaver spoon right in there and uh, finger in them. Nice fish. Beautiful fish. A mixed veggie spoon. That's right. That's got a little bit of a, a, a copper back, or you know, they come with silver back, gold back, copper back, and it can matter, guys. And that little spoon has been putting fish in the boat for Brad all week. That's eater number one. It looks like Brad might have one on his side. Yep, he does. Well, we've uh, we've arrived at the fish spot, Brad. Yeah, it's a good sign. <laughs> Fisherman's Digest is brought to you by Angler Quest, built with purpose. Traxtech, the ultimate fishing system. Strike King, tie one on. Garmin. Make loading and unloading your boat easy with the Dorado Catch and Release Automatic Boat Latch. Load with ease, simply drive on the trailer and the Dorado will automatically latch to your bow eye. A hard plastic liner protects your boat. For launching, back your boat in, pull the release lever and away you go. For roller or bunk trailers, the Dorado is quick and easy to install and works with most V-Hull boats. Spend less time at the landing and more time fishing. The Dorado Catch and Release Automatic Boat Latch, online at doradoproducts.com. Bottom fish here. That's beautiful. Now what we were doing, uh, 
I caught that on lead core. Now Brad's got one here on a jet diver, but essentially we're fishing the same exact fish, correct Brad? I mean, these are both probably 15, 17 down fish. And again, what you see we're doing here, we're doing not with a guy steering, but that's the autopilot. And this right here is the reason why if you're an avid fisherman, again, you know, having those little tools on your boat to help you catch more fish, this is one of them. It's a real nice fish, Brad. Look at that clean Saginaw Bay water. And you've mentioned, Brad, that this, uh, this water looks cleaner to you than in past years, correct? Absolutely, it's much clearer this year. Look at that beautiful fish. A lot of these fish. bottom fish are... Look at that beautiful fish. Oh, nice oh, one. Oh, oh, Brad, hold that fish up for everyone because that, yeah. that is awesome. That's very nice Saginaw Bay walleye fish. You are not kidding there. It's a nice fish, nice, nice, healthy inner Saginaw Bay walleye right there. Beautiful. We'll take him. Yeah, it took that spoon hard too. I mean, there was no sure. question about it. It's all the way in his mouth. Sure did. And that's the second spoon with the primary color of copper with purple on it. That's a nice one. That is a nice one. I'll take those. That's been a common fish trout in this area. So good to see. All right, maybe we're on to something. Nice. I think we are. All of a sudden, he's not that big of a fish, oh, but he might keeper. be a keeper. Oh yeah, he's oh, yeah. a keeper. No doubt. And you guys will see here with the net job of how clean this water in Saginaw is. And Brad, we had a big northeaster. It could be that we just blew some of that clean lake here on air in, or water in, you know? Absolutely. But you, you actually said since that northeaster, it's been better fishing. It has. A week ago, we got a big northeast wind and it was good. It really helped. Uh, this is a little specific spoon that Dreamweaver colors up for me. Nice custom spoon. Um, yeah. Always catches them. Oh yeah, you had that a couple years ago, you took me yep. out and uh, I think you had that same spoon on and it's been working for you for a long time. Nice 15 inch fish. Beautiful fish. Nice one. Good eater. And I'll tell you what guys, if you're looking at uh, today, one of the things that you have to understand about Great Lakes fisheries, um, you'll see it with Saginaw Bay here, you'll see it on Lake Erie, is it's actually important to keep some of the fish uh, that you catch. Because what happens in a system is it'll get run out of bait, uh, especially these Great Lakes places like Saginaw and Erie. You know, you'll get these complaints online, you know, you get the trolls, you know, trying to tell you, oh, you should let those fish go, let them grow up. You know, a lot of times, uh, if, you, if everybody practiced catch and release, this bay couldn't hold up to the pressure. And what would happen is, is you would have other fisheries like the perch fishery or the base bait fishery would get so so carnaged by keeper walleye that you would actually, it'd be detrimental. So it's important for sport fishermen and charters to take a decent number of fish uh, because there's always fish being pumped into the system by the major rivers through the spawn. So, you know, so pay attention to that. It's not always good to play catch and release. Uh, catch and release. Sometimes it's important to keep some fish. Yeah. And it's a walleye and it's oh, a nice one. It is. Sweet. Wow. A nice one, boy. Right. Yeah, Brad. All right. Tell you what, that mixed veggies has caught a few fish today. Yep, that's a good staple color, you know. That is. Nice fish, John. Really nice fish. You know, that's okay. just, that's actually a little lower than average. Uh, or is that pretty average for Saginaw? That's pretty average. We've been getting a lot of fish bigger than this. Sure. Uh, but well, as the summer progresses, they all, you tend to weed through them they a little. They do, yep. You'll, you'll definitely get a little smaller as we get deeper into the season. Tell you what, he ate that lure nice. We'll take them. We'll take as many of those that want to bite. I hear you there. I'm going to be letting this lead back out because it's caught two now. Fisherman's Digest is brought to you by PolarCraft, the toughest built aluminum boats, bar none. Dreamweaver, home of the revolutionary spin doctor. Lose, feel the difference. WavePro, best ride on the water. 
WavePro high performance boat pedestals eliminate bottoming out and back jarring impacts. Now available the 2.0 version and slider seat hubs. The best in air shock technology provides a controlled return to keep you on your seat. Fast and easy to install with permanent mounts or movable hubs for quick and easy seat placement in 10 to 16 inch models. WavePro, high performance boat pedestals, best ride on the water. Online at waveproshock.com. There we go, Brian. Hey, we'll take it. That's a nice second on Bay Walleye. Yeah, great eating fish. Oh yeah. And that's the thing is that uh, these fish are so, so, I mean, they're not old fish, so they taste great. Yeah, they're absolutely succulent for sure. Not a jumbo fish, but a really great eater, and there's a ton of these in Saginaw Bay, and we'll take everyone that wants to bite. That's right, they love these little Dreamweaver spoons, and they like to spend time in the Angler Quest, because we're gonna keep them right in the floor. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting color there, eh? So hey guys, uh, just got off the water here on the beautiful Angler Quest Pro Troll 24, my favorite boat, uh, and uh, the fishing report here from Saginaw Bay early summer is this, is that the spoon bite and the fast crankbait bite are going very, very well. Today we utilize Trip Z's, a Dreamweaver diver, as well as Dreamweaver mini spoons, and as well as the offshore planer board system. And we put those three components together and had an awesome day with Brad Dupuy from Angler Quest. And uh, you know, the, the report is that once this bite starts basically, it goes all the way through. Now you may have to vary and go, to, one day the spoons will work better, some days crawlers work better, some days flicker sheds or flicker minnows work better. The reality of it is, is once, this, once the bite starts in early June typically, now that we're here to summertime, that bite will stay consistent. It's basically just moving around and staying with the fish. Now the fish scatter all over this bay. You could be fishing out of Caseville one day, you could be fishing out of the mouth of the river, you could be fishing out of here in Linwood, up by Standish, over by Our Gray. It really doesn't matter. The bay holds fish year round, and it's really just about you finding the right area and the right presentation to make your day successful. Today we fished out of the Angler Quest Pro Troll 24. Now this is the boat I personally film all of my shows out of when I'm in an Angler Quest. I love this boat. It's equipped, this boat particularly today was equipped with Garmin force trolling motor, Garmin console graph, the Reactor 40 uh, autopilot system. And to be honest, that is the exact way you want to equip these boats. A 12 inch screen graph gives you great readability from anywhere in the boat when you're looking at the console. The force trolling motor in spot lock circumstances gives you great boat control. And of course today, as you saw, we used the Reactor 40 autopilot as it was only Brad and I fishing. And we had times where we had doubles on and we were negotiating with setting and, and resetting lines and netting fish. And the Reactor 40 was just like an extra person in the boat keeping us directly on course. So if you're looking at or considering a boat, as you saw with me laid back in the front of the boat earlier in the show, this is a boat that really, really is a fisherman friendly boat and also doubles as an awesome family machine. It's the Great Lakes Bay region is one of Michigan's premier fisheries. And whenever you're looking for a great weekend away, you almost gotta consider the Great Lakes Bay region and Saginaw Bay. You know, the fishing here is extremely consistent. That's what makes Saginaw Bay so good. Walleye is one of the top fish as far as desirability for eating. And so a lot of people, of course, want to come here and experience the great walleye fishing. And one of the other things that we touched on during our show, but I'm going to bring up here today, is the short, the, the bag limit here of eight fish. It makes your trip here really worthwhile. If you and your wife and a son or a daughter want to come here and fish for a day, you can legally keep 24 walleyes. That's right, eight fish a day and those fish begin their size limit at 13 inches, which makes for a lot of fish that in other systems you would have to throw fish back, not here at Saginaw Bay. Those are legal fish. So when it comes to maximizing your experience here in the greater Great Lakes Bay region and fishing here on Saginaw Bay, there may, may be no better investment for a weekend spent on the water than right here in Saginaw Bay and the Great Lakes Bay region. Fisherman's Digest is brought to you by Offshore Tackle Products, FlowFast, world's leading portable fluid transfer system, Drato, 
catch and release boat system. We all want to keep moving, and we all need fuel to do it. Now, with the revolutionary Flow Fast system, you can fuel up and keep moving from literally anywhere. Flow Fast will pump or siphon an amazing eight gallons per minute so you can get back to what you do best. To find out more about Flow Fast, go to flowfast.com. Flow Fast, fuel up, keep moving. So guys, what we got here out here where we get a little break in the action is you see on our Garmin, we've got our autopilot set up on the left and Brad and I have already talked about that, the importance of autopilot. We've got all of our waypoints stored right there. We can go right or left with a simple touch of an arrow. And what you see on the right here is just, we're really waiting for a little bit of wind. It's been a little calm this morning and we're thinking that we just need a little breeze to turn these fish on. There's definitely fish here as you can see all the red mixed in with a much smaller mark. And then occasionally you'll see, if you look really close, you'll see these really small, small uh, little pot clusters and clouds of things. Those could be the beginnings of a bait hatch. Uh, Brad was out here last night, uh, or actually yesterday afternoon, and said that the charters told him there was a big bait hatch that went on. And you'll actually be able to see that on your electronics as they come up off the bottom and through the column and you'll see fish feeding on them. And then of course they get to the surface then everybody, everybody in a boat knows they're there. But having a great set of electronics uh, paired with an awesome autopilot, when necessary, your force trolling motor up front. Hey, this Angler Quest 24 Pro Troll is decked out to fish and that's exactly what we do here at Angler Quest. We fish. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, yeah, Brad. Tell you what, there's look. days that the lead core, look at the way he ate that. Ah, he's getting, got activated, didn't he? Yeah, that, that little breeze, guys, you see that spoon, that spoon, the other ones were caught where the spoon was on the lip. That one, Brad will show you, is right down in the grommet. He wanted that spoon bad. He was hungry. And sure. that can be just a case of a little bit of a breeze. We, Brad and I have been talking about that, actually hoping for this, hoping for this northeast breeze. And you see that live oil right there? That's what you want right there when you come to Saginaw Bay. Just a nice, nice mix of perfect eater sized fish. Oh, oh it is. It's yeah. a real nice one. It's a keeper. Cool. It's a pleasant yeah. surprise. I just put that thing out. High fish. Yeah, so we'll talk be... about this. Brad and I have been experimenting, trying to get these fish to go. And uh, that's a dandy. Nice. That's a dandy. We'll take her. Well, well, Brad shows you that fish. What we're going to do is, uh, so what I did was we've been searching for the right zone and I just put that watermelon lure out and I only put it out 30 on the diver, which is probably what, down 10? Yeah, yeah, probably, maybe 12. Yep, and I'll tell you what, immediate. I mean, it was now five minutes and that thing was gone. Makes so, sense with the waves, you know? Yeah, and that's what I was gonna do. I was gonna just try to make it go good. But look at this, look at this live well full of fish, ladies and gentlemen. Right. I'll tell you what, anybody, anybody would take that live well, Brad, for, yeah. for eating. Heck yeah. That's a definite keeper, no doubt about it. Tuna boat, 15 <laughs> incher, John. All right. There we go. There's a special reg here on Saginaw Bay for uh, for walleye that allows us to keep up to eight walleye apiece, which is one of the reasons why so many people have added Saginaw Bay to their destination list is because they can drive here, but a smaller fish like that that's just perfect for eating, those are legal to keep here, uh, 13 inch minimum and up to eight fish uh, per angler. It's just an awesome fishery. There's very few places in the country. And again, to those of you looking at the show and saying, why would you keep that? Because I would rather keep this fish actually than a three or a four pounder that's gonna lay a bunch of eggs in the, in the Saginaw River next spring and give us a chance at some natural reproduction. I think I'm gonna duplicate your size, what I got over there. 
Tell you so what, we're going to bass it. We're just going to bass it and let Brett see the bass. Oh, you're going to do that? Okay. Yep. I'll net yours. That's a keeper. Oh, yeah. This one here is a nice one. Yeah, I know. I'm going to I'm gonna net yours. We yeah. got fish flopping in the boat. The fish are biting. Oh, yeah. Cool. That's a really nice fish. Right. Brad, that is hold nice that one up. That's a nice fish. We'll take that. All day oh, long. my goodness. Oh, like, ooh, it's got a wow. tag in it, too. It's got a oh, tag it's got a tag. Yep. Might be a money fish, Brad. Yeah, that's awesome. We'll be turning that information into the DNR. Yeah. Look at that beautiful fish. Look at this live well. I mean, it's crazy now. We're starting to get a, a basket full yeah. rack. It'll undo that. And uh, I tell you what, guys, you don't give up on fishing. Whoop, still on the hook. <laughs> yeah. You Whoops. don't give up on fishing. Brad and I struggled for the first couple hours of the day. And now fish are going in the boat, and all it was is a case of persevering. We used that word earlier, Brad and I both. And you know what's stupid? The same exact location that they were not biting before. That's the key. Sometimes it's just a change of weather, boom, they bite. Closed captioning is brought to you by WavePro. Best ride on the water. Online at waveproshock.com.